Hi there, this is Andrew Sikora, technical agronomist with Channel in Northwest Iowa. Um, coming to you today to give you a little bit of a, a crop update in my territory. Um, till conditions are quite variable across the territory. The southern half and the western half of my area uh, it's been pretty droughty. We um, have some pockets that are very, very uh, stressed. Um, as you move north of my territory, the rainfall has been a little um, more consistent and a little higher amounts. Uh, the particular plot I'm in today um, is in northern O'Brien County. Uh, this plot has received about 13 inches of rainfall since planting. Um, it did get hit with a heavy windstorm July 6th, so there is some lodging, some green snap, and a few different uh, areas of the plot. Uh, things stood back up, pollinated well. Yield potential in this particular plot is good. Um, the product I'm in right now is a new 100-day product, 200-42. comes in a double pro. I'm very excited about this new genetic, um, showing excellent plant health. It came out of the ground very well, and uh, it, it's bringing a very girthy ear type. So consistently find an 18, 20s, 22 around with this product. I think it's going to bring some pretty game-changing yield for our lineup in that 100RM. So very, very excited about this product. Um, so we're early dent right now, moving along. I think there'll be a lot of corn, especially the early corn in my area will be black layering in that middle of September time frame. So, so harvest will be upon us here uh, kind of before we know it. Um, grain fill is going pretty well, um, especially in the western half of my territory. There was some stress during pollination. So there is, you know, a little bit of tip back pretty consistently in the stressed areas, um, a little more so, or a little bit of kernel abortion occurred early. Um, but overall, considering the, the tough conditions we've uh, endured this year, um, yield conditions, are hanging in there pretty well. I also wanted to touch quick on a key soybean variety for us here in Northern Iowa, 1822 RXF. It is a 1-8 extend flex variety that brings uh, excellent IDC tolerance and, and tremendous top end yield potential. It is a product we're using across broad acres here in Northern Iowa. As you can see, it's a really nice plant type, great standability and loaded with pods. Very excited for the combine to hit this variety across northern Iowa. Once again, this is 1822 RXF, a 1.8 maturity extend flex variety. Hi everybody, Jeremy Miner, technical agronomist for Channel Seeds in southeast Iowa, here with a crop progress update. As we roll from R4 to R5, which is the dough to denting stage in corn, the stressful pockets continue to show up. Lack of rainfall is really causing these plants to fire up from the bottom and plant health is becoming a concern. There are diseases with similar leaf symptomology that are showing up now as well. It's good to split stems to find out if you have sudden death syndrome, triazole toxicity from a fungicide application, or brown stem rot. They all look similar. We are seeing what I would call relatively low levels of tar spot in southeast Iowa right now, but we've got plenty of time to go for grain fill, so it's not time to let off the gas. We should be doing some scouting and just verifying the levels of tar spot that are out there. If we look at the channel lineup though, there are a lot of products out there right now that are really starting to impress me. Stress tolerant hybrids like 20787 Double Pro and 20838 Double Pro have been amazing this year and handled stress quite well. Another hybrid family that continues to impress me this year is 21046, both the Double Pro and the Smart Stacks. Both have pollinated really well. There's a lot of good yield potential here. On the fuller season side, we still get the one-two punch from 21422 Stacks and 21478 Drought Guard Double Pro. Plant health has been there. There's been a little bit of tip back due to pollination stress, but other than that, they look like they're going to bring some yield. And probably my new favorite hybrid right now is 20616 Smart Stacks Pro. Look at the ear on this thing. Under nice conditions, even under some stress, we still get a girthy ear ready to throw tremendous yield potential. We continue to build upon our ExtendFlex platform. The current soybean that I really like looking at is Channel's 3322 ExtendFlex. Just a nice, tall soybean, very robust, loaded with pods and always brings top end yield. I really like that soybean. On the earlier season side, I do like Channel's 2521 ExtendFlex soybeans. Again, just another great standing bean, looks really good, harvests real easy and nice top end yield potential. 